And as we come on the air tonight, we now have Tropical Storm Fiona. The National Hurricane Center upgraded the storm about an hour ago, but just minutes ago, they released its new path, and you are looking at that right now. This is Nightside. I'm Carolina Lee. And I'm Dave Wagner. Thank you for being with us. Fiona is now the sixth named storm of the season. Meteorologist Natalie Ferrari has been tracking the system all night long. And Natalie, what are we learning from this latest update here? Not only are we learning kind of the latest as far as what Fiona will be doing in the days ahead, but the strength, the intensity, that is a brand new update just coming in from the National Hurricane Center tonight. This officially has maximum sustained wind speeds of 50 miles per hour, moving to the west northwest at about 16 miles per hour. This still has has a lot of ways to go, especially as it makes its way closer and closer to the Leeward Islands. It's a little over 600 miles east of the Leeward Islands tonight. Those are going to be areas that are dealing with tropical storm watches that have just been issued for Fiona. It is continuing to not only trek its way towards the west, but it's very lopsided. It is not incredibly organized, but it is showing signs of strengthening and not only taking it from a 50, 50 mile per hour storm with those winds, but also showing potential strengthening up to 60 miles per hour as we go through the next couple of days. It will approach the Leeward Islands, the northern Leeward Islands by Friday afternoon into the evening, eventually making it over Puerto Rico this weekend and eventually Hispaniola. There is a turn forecasted and a lot of models have been picking up on that potential, but there is still some grand uncertainty after the weekend, especially towards Sunday going into Monday right in this region. There could be some discrepancies in the turn, mainly because we have some wind shear in the area. We have also mountainous terrain and some dry air that's cutting into the system. That could always impact not only the turn, but also the intensity of Fiona. So a lot of question marks long term, short term. This is something the Caribbean will be keeping a very close eye on as we do now check off the six name storm on the list.